Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with Aruba Networks. Today's hosts are Reggie Johnson, and he is Aruba's Channel Systems Engineer, as well as Austin Gilliam, and he is the Business Development Manager for SMB. They will both be presenting today. Um, if anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Reggie or Austin will answer the questions for you at the end of today's presentation. Reggie, I am finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Great. Thanks a lot, Julie. Hello, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'm Reggie Johnson, as Julie said. I'm a channel systems engineer with Aruba. I want to talk to you guys today about uh, in or introduce you to Aruba Instant On. Now, I hear some of you guys are familiar with Instant On already and are selling quite a bit of that, and that's great. We're very happy to hear that. But you know, if you're not familiar with Instant On, it is truly an enterprise class networking solution for that small business space. And we'll get into that and kind of why it is such of a product. So for the agenda, I'll start off by covering just a basic small business opportunity uh, overall, and then we'll get into talking about Instant On as an end-to-end -end, uh, networking solution for that small business customer. Then we'll talk a little bit about the Instant On access points, Instant On switching, and then I'll cover the basic warranty along with some service options as well. And then really lay it out. Hopefully, by the time I get through this, you guys will understand why Instant On is a great solution for your uh, customers. And then, of course, as Julie mentioned, there will be uh, Q and A. So the small business opportunity over, overall, really worldwide, is continuing to grow. And what we found was there was a lot of growth even initially after the pandemic was kind of official, right? So we're seeing a lot of compounded annual growth. It's actually really about $2 billion uh, a year worldwide uh, for that small business space. And it actually makes up about 24% of that total SMB uh, addressable market. And you notice, you see here that basically why wireless is growing as much as wired. Now, when we launched this Instant On product, we launched just the wireless portion. This was about three years ago, and Austin and I kind of did this together. When we launched this three years ago, initially this product was the, uh, we only had wireless, right? We had other switches that we were selling with it, but we didn't have a switching solution. So we've gone back and actually added a, switch, a switching solution that can also be managed in the cloud. So if you notice here of this uh, addressable opportunity, that 31% of that's wireless. The other 69% of this uh, uh, opportunity is actually wired, which is switches. So it's been a great add-on and it's a great opportunity for you guys to add our switches on to your sales. So with the Instant On end-to-end uh, -end networking solution, it is a cloud managed platform. It's its own entity that uh, allows you to actually manage Instant On switches and access points within that single pane of glass. Uh, we have had firmware upgrades about every three months since we launched this product. Uh, you can receive a notification of when those upgrades come and choose to upgrade them ahead of time, or you can have it uh, set, like I have mine set at three o'clock on Sunday morning it, for an automatic upgrade to actually take place. Um, you know, With these upgrades, what we've done is, as I said, this really evolved from our enterprise class product. So what we've done is over time and by customer demand, we've continued to add features that were already on an enterprise product, basically turn those on within the Instant On uh, platform. And so, for example, one of those that we actually turned on was the ability, was uh, the routing capability, which allowed uh, Instant On access points to actually function as a gateway router uh, in the network. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. There's one that's actually probably the better fit for that as it has multiple ethernet ports. Uh, as you're going through and setting up the system, there's a lot of automatic configuration. So that as you're setting up SSIDs, there's some automatic configuration of the access point and the switch that's also taking place in the background to really simplify it for those that have limited IT experience. There's an outstanding topology view. There's actually a single site uh, inventory capability where you can see everything that's actually at that particular site along with the topology layout of the instant on devices in the network. There's also the ability to remote manage this using either your uh, mobile application on your phone, and we'll talk more about that, or using your web browser 
uh, basically to be able to mon um, monitor multiple sites. So for those of you that may have an interest in being somewhat of a managed service provider for uh, small business customers, we are providing that capability. You can do that either on your, as I said, on your mobile phone or using that actual web application up to actually 150 sites. So it may be one customer, maybe a doctor's office, a dentist's office, with multiple sites, or maybe it's, um, you know, just multiple individual sites. We had ability to support up to 150 that can be managed within this interface. So let's talk a little bit about the access points. Uh, we've got five indoor uh, access points in the Aruba Instant On portfolio, and we've got one outdoor access point. Now you'll notice here underneath the access points that the AP11, AP12, AP15, and the 11D, and the AP17 are all uh, AC Wave 2 or, or a Wi-Fi 5 access point. Uh, we about a year ago we launched the AP22, which is a Wi-Fi 6 access point. It's our latest and greatest in the access point portfolio, and we have actually it's actually become our number one seller. You know, and obviously if you're selling Wi-Fi 6, even though there are not a lot of Wi-Fi 6 clients out there, there is the uh, ability, uh, you know, to really future-proof your customers with that because obviously it's backwards compatible with the clients. Uh, that were supported on the previous standard. Um, a couple of the other uh, devices to point out here, as I mentioned, we have the AP11D. So it's the one that I was talking about when I said, really technically all of the access points have the capability to go in the router mode, but it has multiple ethernet ports. So if you used any of the others, that would mean it would require you to mesh all the access points back to it. Here, you can simply connect it to a switch that may have another access point connected to it within that environment. And then you've got an uplink port that you can connect off of this uh, to your cable modem or whatever device you have going to your service provider at home. The AP17 is our outdoor access uh, point solution. Uh, it's a two by two AC wave two that is IP55 rated, meaning that it's dust proof and weather proof and withstand the basic uh, element. So, and this is just a great slide, really showing the Aruba Instant On access points that I just spoke of. Notice up at the top there, it shows the ideal deployment areas. Again, there are no hard set fast rules for where these can actually be deployed. Obviously the AP17 is really geared toward being outdoors, but you can see some examples of the different scenarios and where these may fit. And we also have a great guide uh, that you can probably find out on our Instant On community or on our website that actually uh, shows you some basic deployments. And matter of fact, there's actually a tool out there you can use and you can tell it what type of deployment you have and it'll actually provide a recommendation. You can see the number of active clients supported uh, for each AP. This has a lot to do based on the number of spatial streams, as you can see here, two by two, three by three, four by four, et cetera. And you can kind of see the speeds there. Obviously, Wi-Fi 6 is the latest and greatest from a gives you more, a little bit more enhanced speed as well for those clients that support that. And then there's some other benefits as you guys are probably aware of that come with Wi-Fi 6 uh, as well that we'll obviously also support as soon as, again, there are more of those clients. So Instant On is really a true purpose-built solution for the SMB uh, space. When we talked about, as I said, it evolved from our enterprise class product. So, you know, it was very easy for us to kind of decide what features we didn't put in it. It's a lot easier to do that than to take a small business product into the enterprise space, right? So this was pretty easy for us to do. As I mentioned, it's very simple, quick plug and play um, uh, installation with the mobile application and cloud-based access for uh, installing the switches and access points. The access points can be installed either uh, via Bluetooth um, or you can actually barcode scan the device or you can simply type in the serial number into the mobile device interface. If you're obviously on a PC, you don't have that option. It's strictly just um, typing in the actual serial number of that particular device. There's no license and no subscription fees uh, required with Aruba Instant On. I talked about the remote management capability that you can do from anywhere, anytime. We can manage up to 25 instant on devices, whether or not they be all APs, all switches, or a combination of APs and switches on a, at a single site um, within that particular uh, network. Uh, we support eight SSIDs or, or um, 
or network names, right? So you can have like, they could be all employees or perhaps uh, a combination of employee and guest uh, SSIDs. And you can mix and match the different models that I spoke of within a single site network as well. Now we also have something that we refer to as smart mesh. Uh, you know, if you guys are familiar with meshing, sometimes with a lot of vendors, it can be very complex. We have what we refer to as a one touch mesh. And I'm actually doing that actually here at my house. So I have a hard to cover area that doesn't have an ethernet wire running to it. So I do have one AP that I have wired and basically I get, went back to a, another room and actually plugged an AP in there just simply into the AC outlet and it wirelessly associated back to the AP that was wired to the network to then provide better coverage in that area. And so you'll find that this is a need for a lot of customers to make sure they got every corner of the business covered. Uh, we are, uh, support WPA2 obviously was a standard that went for a long time without being hacked, but all of our devices uh, also support WPA3, which is the latest, greatest encryption standard. We even support WPA3 uh, wireless enhanced open or uh, in, uh, enhanced open, which is allows you to connect clients. And you, know, you think about environments such as uh, hotels or, or uh, uh, maybe it's a boutique hotel and they have guest access. And typically in the past, you know, you had to know the password and sometimes everybody knew the password, whether or not they were a guest there or or we're even a visitor there or what, right? But uh, WPA3 sets up automatic encryption uh, for every client that's connected that actually supports that new standard. Um, from a support standpoint, we support uh, phone and chat support, and I'll talk a little bit more about those. There's actually, this is one year that I need to correct that. We have actually just changed this. It's actually a two-year warranty uh, on the access points now and limited lifetime warranty on the switches. And we have an outstanding instant on community that you can access to go out and ask questions to and basically search questions, uh, answers to your questions uh, as opposed to having to call TAC. Uh, there's also an extended uh, support that I'll talk about that's also able to be purchased with both the switches and the access point. So as I mentioned, we've got best in class security and we really tried to make it very simple in some ways. For example, if you set up an employee network and you set up a guest network, we automatically place that get work, guest network in its own secure environment and segment it away from the employee network. The last thing you want is guests being able to come into that environment and actually uh, access employee environment or uh, resources on that side. I talked about WPA3 uh, being supported. There are a lot of other things that we recently added. We also added two-factor authentication um, at the account level for you as an administrator so that when you log in, it actually is gonna prompt you for that one-time password that you're using from your Google Authenticator. Another really cool feature from a security standpoint is we had the ability to do traffic, uh, to uh, have traffic visibility and blocking. So there's deep packet inspection in each and every one of our access points. So now in the enterprise platform, this is actually broken down. We've got 3,000 applications and you can actually handle each one of those individually. What we did here was we really wanted to make it simple for the uh, administrators and the users so we bro broke these up into 19 categories, so such as sports, adult entertainment, social networks, gaming, et cetera. So it doesn't allow you to get to that level of granularity, but for example, here you can see the example here that uh, Facebook is being blocked on the uh, coffee shop staff SSID. Well, if Facebook being blocked means that there's, it's, we're blocking social media, so we're also blocking things like LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, et cetera, within this particular environment. So as, as a part of that category. Uh, you can see the example over on the customer side where they were blocking, we're blocking mature content, right? So in that case, we're actually blocking any potential mature content, anything classified as that, that would be coming through, trying to come through to those customers on the customer network or those guests. So without and we do this without an external firewall so you know if you look at a lot of vendor solutions out there they usually they require some type of gateway uh, device at the edge of the network in order to provide this capability and i just told you our router has the ability to actually function uh, uh, 
we can take the 11D and have it actually function in that mode. But, um, you know, we do this in every single one of our access points uh, without having to have that additional cost of that additional device. We also have enterprise grade uh, RF. So, and basically what that's saying is we really support what we, what we refer to as ARM, which is adaptive radio management, which is automatic power and channel adjustment. If things come into a particular environment that perhaps may interfere, then the access points will automatically be adjusted via the power or channels. Um, if there's any type of interference that happens to come in that area in order to make sure that you're getting the best user experience. Uh, I talked about wireless mesh already. It's a very simple one-click uh, setup uh, with the wireless mesh. So if you look at our key differentiators, so we think our simplicity that I talked about, you guys using the mobile app of the cloud portal, as well as the one touch mesh setup are true differentiators out there. And I can tell you for sure, actually on both of those, obviously it depends on who the competitor there is, but I can think of numerous competitors out there that we really beat out with those. I've actually tested them. And then uh, uh, the built-in security capability, again, no requirement for an external uh, appliance I talked about to do the firewalling. Uh, WPA3 is something that I don't know, there may be somebody out there now that has it. I know initially when we announced that we had it within our platform, nobody else did. I talked about the application category blocking. There's also the ability to do client blocking as well. So the ability, for example, I always think of, I always use the example for uh, if your kids happen to have a PlayStation, you know, and everybody's home during the pandemic, you could actually literally block that device from allowing it to be on the network. And then there's also the ability to do scheduled uh, access as well, where maybe you, the kids have one SSID that they're connecting to, and you only want to uh, allow them to connect during certain times of the day, probably after school hours, you can actually define that within our platform. Uh, extraordinary support that I talked about. We got a two year warranty, which is uh, a, a lot more than a lot of the competitors out there. It's 24 by, 24 by seven phone support for the first 90 days with the access point. Um, and chat, and actually chat is now for the entire warranty period, no longer just one year. So that's for the entire period. I talked about the instant on community. No hidden fees, so no subscription fees again, no license fees. And Aruba is indeed a trusted vendor uh, in this space for over 19 years. And we are really bringing the enterprise class product down here to the small business customer. So the next I want to move on and talk a little bit about the uh, instant on 1930 switches. Um, and we launched these shortly after the access points, but we really launched a diversity of product. It actually evolved uh, uh, from a product that we previously had and so we were able to really go in and actually make it uh, cloud manage and give it pretty much the same feature set and actually add some additional things to it as well. So there's seven SKUs, there's an eight port uh, with the two one gig uplink options. And then there's a 24 port and 48 port options with one gig or 10 gig uplinks. There are 10, uh, POE uh, plus or, or non-POE options. Most of the non-POE models are fanless, which is great if you're in an environment where you hate fan noise from switches and some of them are noisier than others. I hate it. Um, but also the eight port POE is also fanless as well. And you can kind of see that outlined over here in the models on the right. Um, these can be, uh, so these are actually uh, what we refer to as layer two plus or light layer three. So they can actually be uh, they can actually do some basic routing. You can define static routes in these. So we'll talk about these have VLAN support. You can actually route between VLANs on this particular switch, which is kind of an advanced feature for this marketplace, but some customers need that. Uh, there are two management modes. So these are the access points can only be cloud managed. These can be cloud managed or they can be locally managed. So if you boot this in and it's not connected to a network where it has internet access, it'll come up with the default IP address and you'd simply put a device on the same network and you could associate to it and then configure it accordingly. Um, I talked about the one gig and 10 gig uh, uplink uh, connectivity options that are there. Very strong security. So as I mentioned, there's VLAN support, there's support for 802.1X radius support for authenticating clients. We also support Mac authentication as well. 
which is something that was recently added for those headless devices such as printer. And then uh, there's some other features there. I'm not gonna get down into the weeds on those. We don't have that much time, but uh, there's it's very security rich uh, for a small business product. And then these are actually about the same color as the access points. So they actually look really nice together uh, if you happen to have them in the same area. So, and as I mentioned, we've got outstanding support. Um, we have a great warranty, but in addition to where, in situations where customers need a bit more than that, we also have something called foundation care as a service option add-on. And I usually always recommend foundation care, and you can kind of see what's covered under the basic warranty. Well, basically foundation care basically brings an enhancement to that. Now with the access points, it's one SKU and actually one price, uh, regardless of the access point that you pick uh, to get foundation care. So we've made it real simple uh, there. Uh, from a switching standpoint, there are three-year and five-year options. Um, and, and it's going to vary from model to model as far as the cost. But remember on our switches, we've got a lifetime warranty on access points is two years. The next business day replacement under warranties in these situations is just, you know, within the first 30 days after receiving it, then we'll actually ship the product out next day. But you can enhance that to where, you know, if you get the foundation care, somebody can simply call in. And if it's before like a certain time at the end of the day, they will actually ship it out that day uh, to make sure the customer receives it next day. And that's very important for a lot of your customers out there. They're gonna make sure that, uh, that you know, hey, if their network's down, it's actually costing them money. So, and with that, so as I mentioned, so with Instant On, we do provide the ability to really have an end-to-end -end solution. You can see the scenario here where I'm showing you know, most of the, the customers out there, we usually find they've already got some type of gateway device uh, out there, so they don't necessarily need that, so they're just buying switches and access points. But occasionally, you'll go into an environment where they don't have anything, and the AP11D, as I mentioned, is a great fit. It has multiple uh, Ethernet ports. There's actually four Ethernet ports connected uh, under the bottom there. This is a little bit deceiving on the picture to connect those up to and you connect one to the switch and one to the internet. Now you've got a true end-to-end -end solution and this is an example of that topology. So why instant on? So hopefully after me going through this that you guys can kind of see some of this. I guess the only way that you can really see it is to really try it out yourself or if I were able to show it here somehow today and I don't within the allotted time that we have. But it's very simple, easy setup. And I've had all types of people set this up just to prove it, uh, you know, particularly for, uh, for management of the instant on access points and switches. Uh, we talked about the built-in security capability on both the switches as well as the uh, access points. Uh, extraordinary performance. We've got AC Wave 2, but as I mentioned, we've got uh, Wi-Fi 6 certified, the AP22. Uh, which is an outstanding product. Um, and then we've got our uh, switches, which also have uh, one gig and 10 gig uplink options. So if you think about some smaller environments where they've got servers perhaps, or uh, servers or storage that actually require 10 gig uplink, we have support for that on these, these products. Uh, I talked about the no hidden fees and so no subscription fees, no licensing fees that really helps with that total cost of ownership uh, and making sure you've only got a one-time hardware cost so there's not a lot of add-ons there and you're not playing for it again over time. And again, it's, it's all coming from a trusted vendor who primarily started its career as being an enterprise vendor. But again, this is a product that's really moved very well for us. Again, it's superior hardware because it's actually the same hardware that we use for our enterprise platform and software, and we've made some modifications for it to spit it, fit into this space to make it easier for you guys to sell and help get the Aruba name out there as a small business vendor. So, and I talked about the Instant On community and some of the options there for support. A lot of, there's many of us, such as myself, that actually monitor uh, that information uh, as well. So we may actually respond to your questions. It's not just our technical assistance.
And with that, I want to thank you guys very much. I hope this was informative. I hope you'll get something out of this. And um, we're actually open for questions if there are any available. Reggie, thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. And yes, it looks like we've got a few questions for you. Let's get started with the first one. Here we go. Uh, will Instant On work on iOS and Android devices? Yes, thank you very much for asking that because I meant to say that back on the very first slide where I was talking about that. It does. So the application works on uh, on Android or iOS devices. I assume they're asking about the application. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Next question here for you. Is there a way to reach out to your support team right away using the Instant On app? Well, that's a good question. I think there is somewhere within the app where you can actually contact them, but I don't know if Austin can, it's as a live mic and he can, he may be able to answer that better than I can. I know there is a page that you can go to and I can contact the team. But I, you know, I can take that one, Reggie. So, so um, the answer is yes. So if you're in the app, there's actually a section called help and support. And if you go there, it'll actually, um, you can either go directly to the community um, or you can contact support through the support center and there you'll be able to um, call the 1-800 number directly and reach out to uh, a live, a live uh, support representative on the phone. Great, thanks Austin. Absolutely. Excellent, thank you. So just to clarify, did you say that the community, the, the Aruba community can be reached on the app as well? Yes, both the community and the uh, the phone support um, have a hyperlink from the application. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Next question here for you guys. Um, can the indoor APs be used outside, for example, under covered patios, or would you not recommend that? Not really recommend it. Um, you know, I mean, tip, typically, I mean, you know, we would want to probably use an outdoor uh, access point for that because there, it's a combination of not just necessarily the elements, but also temperature as well that may uh, affect how the device actually functions. Excellent. Thank you for that. Next question here for you. Um, can Instant On be supported um, for upcoming or future devices from you guys? Uh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm fully understanding the question. Is he talking about for Wi-Fi 6 devices? I'm, I'm not sure I fully understand that. Question. Yeah, it's not clarified here. Um, let, uh, you know what? That's not, not a problem. Let's go on to the next question. I'll be glad to follow up if they want to clarify later. I'll be glad to follow up. Too. Of course. Absolutely. We can do that. Next question here for you. Uh, is there an option? to have in, uh, Instant On installed on existing or older models? No, on, on older models of, uh, I'm not sure I'm following that question. Maybe the on older of the Office Connect line, if maybe if that's what they're asking, no, or even of the, um, of the actual uh, um, access points, the answer is no. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much for that. A couple more questions here for you. Um, can you give us an overview of how remote management works? Yeah, so I mean, really, it's simple. It's just regardless, you know, you could be connected, you know, via your phone or mobile device, basically connected up through your service provider as you're getting normal service. And it provides you, you basically log into your particular portal. So you'll log in to, when you log into that instant on interface, it's going to take you to your account. And then you can access the individual accounts within, uh, uh, with the individual site within your particular account. Uh, same thing with a, uh, with a death, with the desktop or laptop device, right? So if you're connecting, wherever you're connecting, if you have internet access, you're simply, you go to the uh, portal.arubainstanton.com 
and basically it launches it brings you to a login screen you log in with your username and password if you have two-factor authentication enabled and i hope people would right then it's going to prompt you to uh for your um authenticator password there you put that in and then uh the same so it's going to launch you into the basic uh screen there and you select uh the sites that you want to connect to excellent thank you next question here for you will the apps and web traffic feature be able to block applications uh, on mobile devices um, instead of accessing the browser for example uh, block a facebook app but not facebook on the browser no it's not capable of doing that with instant on that's actually something that it actually would require enterprise class ap's in order to to do that whenever Thank you get you to it yeah, it allows yeah. another level of granularity. Sorry, Julie. No, no, that's fine. Thank you for that, Reggie. Um, can you give us an overview of where all of your products are manufactured? That's a good question. Uh, Austin, you want to? Yeah, it actually depends on the product. Um, some are manufactured um, in in China, others are manufactured in other parts of Asia, um, and then certain, you know, certain parts of the of the hardware are manufactured here in the U.S. So it really is kind of uh, it is it depends on the product and it depends on the part of the product. So um, we don't necessarily have um, any specifics we can share on that here today. No problem. Just the overview is just uh, that's just a general question. Thank you so much for that information. Um, Reggie, last question here for you, or um, this may even be for Austin. What is the best way to reach out for any type of support, maybe technical, customer service, and that sort of thing? What is the best way to reach Aruba Networks? That's a great question. I would start with the Aruba Incident community that can be found at our website, www.arubaincident.com, and then there's a section up at the top right hand corner for community. Um, from there, there you can also um, navigate to our support page, and at our support page, there is an option to contact support. You can do that either via chat or via the phone, and there's a uh, direct phone line that can be found there. It's a 1-800 number, um, and it's a 24 by 7 phone support that is entirely complimentary and free of charge for the first 90 days um, for customers as they're deploying and installing the hardware. Excellent. Thank you guys for answering all of those questions for us today. And also, thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar. And if anyone has any further questions, please feel free to contact us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned and shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And remember, this webinar presentation has been recorded and uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel so you could view it again. Austin, Reggie, thank you so much for your time and all of your uh, informative information and your slides today. We greatly appreciate it. Everybody have a fantastic day. Until next time, we will have another webinar with future uh, latest and greatest from Aruba Networks. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Julie. Thanks, guys.